Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a podcast and videocast by UNIVRM.com. Today is a current event news article titled, Say Goodbye to Civil Discourse and Soon Civil Liberty. Perhaps the reader is familiar with the latest controversy involving Rush Limbaugh. Radio commentator Rush Limbaugh apologized for labeling Georgetown University law student Sandra Fluke a slut and a prostitute for her congressional testimony in support of birth control insurance coverage. He claimed his insulting diatribe occurred only as a result of a poor choice of words and a failed attempt to be humorous. One finds it difficult to imagine how a skilled wordsmith like Limbaugh could fall victim to poor word choices. It would have been helpful to know, in retrospect, just what his choice of words in this somewhat limited category could have been. Perhaps, instead of slut and prostitute, he might have selected trollop and whore? In truth, four times married Limbaugh views all of the 98% of women who elect to use some form of birth control as his moral inferiors. The women of America should take note of the views expressed by this voice for the Republican right wing and then express their own views when voting in the presidential election. Much of the furor surrounding Limbaugh's comments, his follow-up rhetoric including imitating Rick Santorum by offering to personally pay for aspirins women can put between their knees, fading along with the sponsors of his radio show. Evidently, it is now standard practice in satire and humor to be as offensive as possible in order to get readers or listeners. We write satire and humor on current event news, so our response to Limbaugh the following. Dear fucking fat ass big mouth piece of shit waste of allegedly human protoplasm waddling billboard for blimps, the GOP, and morons everywhere. The troglodytic tripe of your misogynistic ranting, probably due to an extremely small penis and latent homosexuality, although one finds it more likely a drug-addicted verbal whore as yourself hypocritically and sanctimoniously justifies many other reasons. Ms. Fluke does not have to worry about birth control from the likes of you, because you're so fucking fat you haven't seen your own dick in years, let alone be able to use whatever microscopic erection may be Viagra-enabled, attempting to poke through your physical and mental lard. It is rumored mirrors and houses break when your face reflected and a class action lawsuit contemplated to keep obscene and grotesque images off television and to repair all the broken mirrors. The best possible reason for women to retain the right to abortion abortion, is your mere existence and to not issue birth control in order to avoid, avoid more like you, truly criminal and socially irresponsible. Disrespectfully yours, John Sturr. In keeping with current allegedly civil discourse, perhaps the above words, a poor choice of words, and a failed attempt to be humorous. And there are other words we should have used, therefore apologize for any misunderstanding. Those calling for war, dehumanizing women, and other blatant bullshit should have the the conscience of their own convictions to do what they propose. A waiver obviously needed because of age, weight, IQ, and other social maladies, but if you believe what you spout, get out there with a gun during the next stupid war on the front line. When a woman raped and you are against contraceptive pills and abortion, have a giant dildo shoved up your throat and offer to carry the new life in your own stomach to term and then take care of them yourselves after birth for the next 18 years. In the immortal words of Bart Simpson, bite me. This has been copyright 2012, UNIVRM.com, trademarked, all rights reserved. At UNIVRM.com, we create original content with humor and satire on current event news, opinion articles, economy articles, science current events, and our science fiction book series titled Change Hope. As an advertisement, please remember UNIVRM.com offering our science fiction book series Change Hope, released as a series on a chapter and book-by-book basis like the Old Amazing Stories magazine. 
Change Hope available in all ebook formats and as an audiobook. You can purchase by going to www.univrm.com forward slash downloads forward slash. You can listen to this article via podcast at the iTunes store by subscribing to univrm.com or read it on Facebook at the UNIVRM channel. You can also listen or subscribe to our articles via videocast or podcast on YouTube on the UNIVRM channel. This has been a podcast and videocast brought to you by UNIVRM.com and we hope to bring you more in future.